Hello humans, welcome to a special episode of Scarlet Letter Show. I thought this video would be really necessary for all my other creatives out there. So let me tell you about how I've been coping with the quarantine as a creative. So to share a little more about me, I was basically working out like four times a week, like going to work like four or five times a week, and then also producing my radio show and managing every aspect of my brand, like filming, editing, graphics, social media, all that stuff. And I was also finding ways to hang out with my friends and just like do everything that a human can possibly do. And you know when you have a full schedule all the time, you're so used to like pushing yourself to like do more and more. And when you had some time off, it's just so hard to relax. Like I had issues just not doing anything. It almost felt wrong. Like I should be doing something right now because I'm so used to being so busy all the time. So the first night that I found out that I wasn't working, actually one of my friends who's a go-go dancer at the club that I work at texted me and he asked me, what are you doing? And I told him, I'm about to get ready for work. I was literally about to sit down and do my makeup or whatever. And he said, oh, Rich's is closed. And I just felt like my world like turned around and I felt a sinking feeling in my stomach. Obviously the first concern is always money, right? Like, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna be making money for I don't know how long. And the second is, just not going to work because I generally love my job. That job gives me life. I go to the club and I dress up and I meet a lot of people and I'm in an environment that I love. So that was being taken away from me. And then everything else, like all the shows got canceled for Scarlet Letter and like, like we can't visit friends, like all those things that inspired me and make me feel creative were gone. So of course my friend and I met up that night and I had my first binge eating episode in a long time. I was just so stressed out by the whole situation and I remember we went to these grocery stores and everything was gone. It felt like zombie land and it just like, hit me that this was real. So for the rest of the week, I was feeling really down. I was just being lazy, watching Netflix, still binge eating and not moving a lot and just being self-destructive and negative. So eventually something in me just snapped and I was like, what's going on with you? This is not you, like you're better than this. Like you should know better how to face adversity. So I did some self-reflection and I decided to look beyond me. This isn't just happening to me. We're all going through it. We're all struggling right now. And my issues are minor compared to other people. Like it could always be worse. So I decided to do a gratitude list and write down all the things that I'm currently grateful for even during these times. And it's crazy how often we overlook the most basic things like having a roof over my head, having a car that will take me to the groceries, being able-bodied, having friends and family that love me. All those things that we often overlook where we're going through stressful situations because it's so easy to focus on the negative things and forget about all the things that you can be grateful for. So I decided to stop making excuses for myself and still be creative and find ways to be productive. And since then, I've been doing workouts at home every single day. It's helped me tremendously with my happiness levels. I've also been watching a lot of live streams on the weekends and that's been helping me out a lot too. I just dance my ass off in the living room. I don't care. I put a mirror there to practice my dance moves. Everything's okay. I actually did a live stream myself too on Facebook where I played some 90s and some techno so that was fun that was another cool outlet i've also been way more selective with the content i consume because you know when you go on facebook there's a lot of negativity there you don't want to be stuck in the facebook feed forever so i've been watching a lot of motivational videos on youtube and documentaries just things that will help my mind i've been cooking a lot more too and before i wasn't too crazy about cooking but now i feel like it's another way of self-expression and being creative with your dishes and just i've been baking and doing a lot of vegan meals so you know i'm a chef now i've been also reading a lot of books about branding and investing to keep my mind occupied and i recommend taking notes too of like the most important things so you get like your brain going i've been journaling a lot more too i find it really helpful to just write down my feelings when i'm feeling Feeling sad or happy or angry and just kind of reflect on how you can improve or what you want to see in your future too. I've also been drawing and painting a lot which is of course another way to be creative and I've been still making videos. I made one last week and this one right now and I'm probably gonna make another one next week. I've also been calling friends, family and a lot of other things. Honestly the possibilities are endless. You just have to like use your creativity to find ways to stay productive. This situation made me dig deeper into my self-awareness and reassess my values. I feel like 
I'm more certain now of what really matters to me, who my real friends are, and my true passions. I'm also feeling a lot more confident in my stress management abilities and the way that I can deal with adversity. Your mind is a really powerful tool and your thoughts can literally destroy you if you let them. We often self-sabotage and put ourselves down in difficult or stressful situations, but I believe that you're all capable of breaking down those self-destructive cycles if you put in the work. Just be real with yourself and ask yourself some self-awareness questions to figure out how you can get out of that mental block Stay optimistic, find some gratitude, and just keep moving forward. I believe in you. This is not gonna last forever, so we have to make the best out of the circumstances and thrive, just keep going. I hope this video helps a lot of you, and just know that it's also okay to feel sad or angry or mad, but the whole point is to not let those thoughts consume you and don't fall into a hole of negativity. Keep moving forward and do the very best that you can in this situation. Thank you all so much for watching, and let me know how you've been dealing with the quarantine in the comment section. Till next time.